Religious harmony exists and it's never looked so good. The Temple of All Religions is an unconventional landmark in the Russian city of Kazan, which represents all the world's major theologies, but has nothing to do with spirituality itself. It's not a religious object. Its exterior was designed to pay tribute to all religions, but inside it's a creative space where all artists exhibit their works. There are also workshops and creative processes are constantly ongoing. The late eccentric architect Ildar Khanov spent 20 years building the site on the foundations of his own home. He and his assistants lived inside the building for decades where they built it. According to Ilda, the idea was born during his dream when Jesus came to him and said, Ilda, you have to build the temple, the ecumenical temple. Get out, take a shovel and people will join you. And that's how it happened. It's not funded by a government, it's a private house. The temple has got 16 minarets, spires and domes, which are intended to signify each of the world's major religions. Next to the traditional crosses you can see the Stars of David crescent moons and Chinese domes. Inside the temple, there are several halls devoted to different denominations, Buddhist, Catholic, Orthodox, Muslim, and also the theater, where exhibitions and concerts take place. We are impressed by the scale. There are lots of halls and each of them is unique. There are lots of detailed work like mosaics and stained glass. We can't help respecting all this. The temple is still under construction, and Ildar's younger brother, Ilgiz, is in charge of it now. He's a famous Russian icon painter, and his works adorn many Russian churches. At the age of 30, I realized that I was born to paint icons. I've painted around 87 throughout my life. Apart from the religious objects, the temple also features pieces of art, like gaudy tiles, some modern paintings, quirky artworks made of stone, sculptures and columns decorated with colourful mosaic and glass. I think it is one man's vision, or two men, because one has died now, of all the things that they think are beautiful. It's like a huge piece of artwork. Many people from all over the world come here and feel inspired by the incredible combination of fates, styles and artworks. It really is a special place.